exact balls. Yeah. And they, uh, like everybody's in the same exact place. Like, they got a place called whatever, you know. Oh, yeah. All dedicated here. Rodney Morris playing Jason Williams and looks like the first game. Jason just uh, just defeated Dale Alpahora, so he's had a chance to get in stroke a little bit. And Rodney Morris has played Christy Lips. But uh, he had, here he did most of the work there, too. Rodney's quick to uh, act here. Taking down the first game. Quick to rack, quick to act. Jason's played Rodney Morris before that I know of at Chet Edo tournaments, West Coast Challenge tournaments. And I th think Jason has actually caught Rodney once or twice in a match. So let's take a look at how Jason's hitting him today. I want to thank the, the Williams family, Jason Williams. Uh, actually, I'm actually staying at the Williams home uh, whilst here in Northern California. And it's been truly uh, a blessing to have friends who you, who you can, uh, whose shoulder you can lean on. Shoulders. George Williams, Jared Williams, and Jason Williams. The Williams family. Jason Williams, you're watching now play Rodney Morris. Ronnie's playing good safety there, but didn't get enough speed out of the two ball. It looks like Jason can see a piece of it. Oh, 
sorry about that, guys. Uh, I was getting a little squirrely there. This is a race to eight. 1 0. Rodney Morris. Jason can also be a pretty fearless and fast-paced player. He's probably one of the top amateur players uh, in this part of the area. Lives in like the Concord area. Shoots once a week over at Crown Billiards. And he recently won the Dante Rakin Memorial Tournament that uh, took place last month. Jason's also finished uh, pretty high in other independent tournaments like the Chet Ito, who, where he came in fourth. Uh, fifth place. Or was it third? I don't remember. I think he actually beat Rodney in that, that, that event. Rodney's shooting now. He's looking at uh, laying up here. He's going to try to hide the four behind the five. Regardless of uh, whoever gets out of this, uh, there's still a question of what to do with the seven ball. And it just seems like uh, you get the right angle on the seven, you can play a very, very effective safety. But also, it's, it's the same angle at which you could get to close out the rack. So I guess it's a matter of uh, wherever you get on that seven ball. It's how comfortable you feel to run it out or to play safe. Rodney's like tree topped over here on the four. He's also looking at the seven. The whole thing's a mess. It's not that bad, but it's just a matter of who's going to take the best opportunity. And he's deciding to turn this back into a safety battle. Looks like Jason might take the, take the bank on here. Banks it wide and... Puts Rodney on the 50 yard line. Who's winning over here? Rodney. Meaning that he only has half a shot. <laughs> Rodney not exactly getting it, the line that he should with every safety that he's playing. I'm 
sure this, if he could get safe the way he needs to, or is he just tempting Jason? Because the seven ball is still under the nine there. Four ball does not go down, and now Rodney may have to shoot this out. <coughs> This is not where he wants to be. He makes it happen. Now do you cut here or do you play the safety? Rodney says cut. Cut and run, that's what he did. You're watching the Cole Dixon, second annual Cole Dixon Memorial Tournament. Our hearts go out to the Dixon family and um, Hopefully we'll get a chance to have Christine come on to the mic and say hello. A little later. David Espinoza is still in a match with uh, Willie. <coughs> I forgot his last name. Mm, I don't remember his last name. Uh, we also have uh, Arturo Rivera still in a match with Frank Robitz. And the score there is six to five. <laughs> David Espinosa's up 7-4, and David actually just gets the handshake from Willie, who says, I surrender. Okay, here we go with Jason with a chance at the table. Nice come around on the cue ball after the two. Taking a, you know, we know what I like. Stun this three ball and bump the four. I mean, bump the five. And then play the four in the side. He's gonna follow. going for the combo. Careful, leave that cue ball in the open. It could be curtains. And he plays it somewhat safe. Rodney could jump here. Kick time. Is he gonna kick? Masse? Is he trying to kick it? The only thing I 
don't like about this is A, there's a scratch on it, and B, wow, that was such a good kick though. Is uh, I don't like the way the cue ball approaches the nine, it hits it with the wrong English. Jason, two strokes. And gives Rodney a ball, ball in hand. So I went over to the bathroom and like on my way I saw a couple guys. So you know there there's some there's some good players, man. They're running racks. Saw Jane or Orke playing well. Uh, Ernesto Dominguez is in a match right now. And Mary Rakins playing somebody. Nicolato, uh, Nicolato's in a match. And uh, there's not a lot of, there's not really any slouch, real slouch play here. I haven't seen a lot of it. There's, yeah, I mean, obviously you got your shortstops here, but definitely some entertaining pool of sweat. If you're in the San Francisco area, come on down to Family Billiards and check out the action. I also want to thank Delbert Wong for holding this event and for allowing POV Pool to come here and stream. I also want to thank the Dixon family. These guys, this will be the second year in a row now we've covered this event. And it's really nice to be back up here in San Francisco. Strong field of players that I don't get to see every day. So it's 3-0, Rodney Morris in the lead against Jason Williams. Excellent safety. That sucker is buried. How do you hit the three? And how do you tie up a ball if you can't hit the three? Something amazing has to be done here. This is definitely one of those. This is one of the situations you start looking to tie up balls here, but. Uh, What's the right thing to do? Hop over the rail? Go rail over the five? Trying to make the five funny or set up. You just set up a 5 10 combo instead. Maybe hoping Rodney will get out of line somewhere. Rodney who starts to set the ball in his sights. And that looks like it's going to be perfect. That's pretty sick. Four zero.
Jason just got out of a match. He beat Dewa Pahora 8-3. And so... Seemed like the pool gods were telling him to step up early. Hey, we pool sponsored by OBQs, Kamui Tips, Runout Apps, Fast and Loose Designs, and Automated Entertainment. Take a look at the uh, a player or two here. There's Arturo Rivera. Anybody remember ever playing him? How much did you lose? Christine Dixon over there. She's sticking to her corner. She's been uh, she's been playing in this event too. Cole Dixon's daughter. Jason, give us a match. I have to say, I don't know Jason's game very well, but I have known him to be a hell of a grinder. I've seen him get into matches uh, that last a very long time, but I haven't physically sat and sweated his match because I'm usually at the same pool hall that he's at when I'm playing. And uh, I'm usually grinding it out too and then we end up meeting at the end of the night talking about our matches. <laughs> so that's, that's how I know Jason. I know Jason. Jason gets into some pretty long matches once in a while. So he can, he, he definitely has legs to play. And he might be fortunate there. By missing and hitting the titty, I think he has uh, caught Rodney behind the eight ball. Rodney's kicking two rails. All right, this shot should be a nice little test of Rodney, of J Jason's nerve. Ooh. 
Well played. Slightly overrolled. He can still recover. He's taking a second here just to make sure. Played it very good, a little bit of a touch of inside English there. So he's going to have to draw out here a little bit for shape on the nine. Wow. Well, it's one way to do it. Let's go, Jason. Let's give us a match. Looks good. Tight. Four to one. Hard Times 10 Ball is coming up in July. July 11, 12, and 13. Check out the Hard Times 10 Ball Tournament. Guaranteed so far, Warren Kiamko, Dennis Sorcolo, Oscar Dominguez, Ernesto Dominguez, Rodney Morris, Amar Kang, and many, many others. Ramon Mystica will be going down there. Copen Yi and company will be down there from Taiwan. Yes, three Taiwanese players. What a break. And by the way, he is breaking with my OB break cue that I love so much. Just needs to work on that cue ball a little bit. Jason does have a monster, monster break. Stay tuned also for uh, Oscar Dominguez versus Delbert Wong after this match. That's right. Oscar is going to play the owner of Family Billiards. I want to congratulate uh, Leland Baxter for winning a t-shirt and in, a, in about an hour or so we're going to announce another t-shirt winner and we will send you an email uh, in order for us to get your email address uh, you have to become a POV Pools supporter 
And in order to become a POV Pool supporter, we'd love to have you guys donate to POV Pool. Any amount helps. Make a donation to POV Pool and uh, support the supporters of the pool community. And I also want to welcome back to our audience, Max Eberly. Max Eberly, I hope you're going to make it to the Hard Times 10 ball this year. You can tell us yes or no. I'm not looking at the chat room right now, but Geraldine is. She'll, she'll let me know yes or no about you. And then I can let, let the world know that uh, Max Eberly will be playing Hard Times 10 ball as well. It sure would be nice. Yes, yes. Max Eberly confirmed for the Hard Times 10 ball event in Bellflower, California. Spread the word. Nice bank. I'm noticing that Rodney has uh, an extension built into his queue. It looks like a six inch extension. It might be, if I'm not mistaken, Foch Garcia from Southern California has been making extensions for people. Foch works with Ariel Carmelli and Ariel Cues. And it very may well be that uh, Rodney's using one of his six inch or five inch extensions of his queue and with it he has chalked up another win five games to one now Jason in trouble double trouble for Jason Williams who is so ashamed of himself he has to hide his face behind the lampshade That's right, Max Eberly, you have to defend. Max Eberly is Mr. Third Place. <laughs> Starring Max Eberly, Mr. Third Place. That's right, third place at, uh, at uh, Bellflower Tournaments for, for three years running. <laughs> We love you, Max. And yes, you have to defend your third place title. Jason, meanwhile, is trying to defend his 64th place title here <laughs> uh, against Rodney Morris. Just played a smashing 1-9 combo to give him an early finish. And you know, I gotta say, it's really good to see him playing pool because he fell ill uh, about a year ago with some stomach problems. And he's, he's gone through a couple surgeries and uh, I'm telling you, he lifted up his shirt yesterday and he was all cut up. And boy, the guy's, the guy's a trooper, man. Winning the Dante Rakin tournament last month and now ready to play this one. Two long, grueling days. Of playing these world beaters and world champions mixed together. All right, looks like Jason is getting in line here. Seven and the eight don't look very easy. He could use the 
four. If he can come on the right angle of this four, he can use the four to uh, to push that seven ball away from the eight and get in line for a shot there. I think just a natural, little bit of natural follow. Even if he hits the eight ball or the seven, he'll move one or the other out of the way for a pocket. He'll have to draw out on the on the five. And he nudges, as instructed. Whoa, what the heck? Wow, I didn't know, I didn't think he was gonna, I wouldn't have gone behind those balls. I would have gone uh, in front of them. So Jason leaves Ronnie and Rill with a very easy out. And you know what? That's going to be heartbreaking to Jason. Six games to two. Ronnie Morris, actually, he is the uh, current ranking or reigning CSI US Open 10 ball champion, beating Dennis Orcolo after making a miraculous recovery, being down nine games to three in a race to 11. Rodney managed to overtake Dennis Orcolo <clears throat> playing 10 ball in Las Vegas last year. And I believe taking home a fourteen or fifteen thousand dollar paycheck. Rodney has won numerous titles over the years. Playing in the finals of the uh, IPT World 8 Ball Championship in, I believe, 2008 or 9. I believe he's, uh, well, he is a longtime Moscone Cup player. Uh-oh. And Ronnie Morris is definitely one of the favorites in this tournament to win. Jason hits the ball thick. We still got that 4-8 to worry about. this. Uh, what's he going to do? Slam it. Ride the nine. When in doubt, hit it hard. He's actually, you know what, six games to two. That's, that's actually an act of desperation that I, I, would, I would respect. You're down six games to two. And look at the table here. Jason tried to do something creative there, but uh, he didn't get safe, and he didn't actually open the four ball up 
<laughs> what a shot. Wow. What a shot. Nice return. Uh, Ronnie made a mistake here. Something go in. Something go in for the guy. Give him a chance. Did he just miss that ball? Jason Williams. Jason Frederick Williams. Oh my God. Hey, what is his middle name anyway? <laughs> Shaky Dave, what's up? Oh, Ronnie missed. Jason really needs to settle in. I mean, Rodney's given him a lot of chances to do something, to do the right thing here. In a few different racks that I've seen. Jason just turned around and give it back, so he's got to bear down here for the rest of this match. You know, it ain't over yet. It's six to three. I've seen stranger things happen, man. Much stranger. Okay, let's see if we can get a Kenny Koo break in. We're watching Kenny Koo right now. Kenny Coos playing Randy Catalina. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't like scratches on the break. But anyway, I wanted to get a Kenny Coo break in.
Good shot, man. He had like uh, just half a pocket there. Problem here for Rodney gets on the hill, but I will repeat: I have seen stranger things happen. Nice break, corner ball stings, sting, uh, stings the corner pocket, the wing ball stings. And just get on the two and run it out from here. Like I said, stay tuned. After this match, you're going to have Oscar Dominguez versus Delbert Wong, who's the owner of Family Billiards here in San Francisco. Be sure to come on by Family Billiards on Geary Avenue in San Francisco. Great pool room. We've got 17 beautiful tables running right now. All freshly hooved uh, up and uh, felted by Ernesto and Oscar Dominguez. Actually, I think Ernesto did the tables most of the work. And that's going to end this match between Rodney Morris and Jason Williams, who will go to the one loss side and uh, try to take it back from there. Meanwhile, over on...